Hey, it's Pete. Today I've got a public service announcement for your volley, and that is stop twitching. Please, please stop twitching on your volley. Can you do that? I see so many people do that, and I think it's because you watch the pros and there is this little move that a lot of really good volleyers at your club, maybe your club pro, uh, maybe your favorite player on TV, and you'll notice there's this move they do, but you're not doing it the same. You're doing it a little different, and that's why you're getting frustrated that it's not working for you, because you're not doing the same thing they're doing, okay? So I was giving a lesson to one of my students. He was twitching. He was twitching on that volley. And I said, you gotta stop that twitch. So what he was getting to the ball and he was always doing this. Because he, he sees his favorite pros, you know, kind of looking like this. So you get, and then you see, just no solid contact. You'll hit lots of balls off the frame with a twitch. You'll miss with a twitch. It's just not gonna work. It's not gonna be any good. So you're probably saying, yeah, but Pete, I see the pros. They've got that little, they've got some, they're doing something there. And I wanna do that. So if you want to do that, I will show you what the pros are specifically doing. When you're making contact with that volley, for the most part, you wanna be as still as possible with the rack face. Even if you're punching or you're staying still, you don't want the wrist doing a lot of stuff. You don't want that because that's gonna make you hit and miss hits. That's gonna make you pop up volleys. That's gonna make you miss volleys. So when you're impacting the ball, you want to be like that. The ball hits, boom, then it's gone. Then you can do that, and it's very subtle. I basically, I like to call it the carrying hand. I hit it, and then after the ball's gone, I do that little move. Now what's that gonna do? That is going to add a little bit more backspin and bite to my volley. So, so watch, watch this. This is the twitch, and then the non-twitch, and watch the difference, and we'll put it for you in slow motion. All right, so here we go. So here comes the twitch volley. See, and I, I didn't even mean to do that. I didn't know it was gonna be that bad. See, the ball didn't even go anywhere. Now here's the non-twitch volley, watch this. I come here, I block it, and then you can see at the end I'm doing this little thing. Very subtle though, guys. I'm not doing much of it. It's block, and it's a very subtle, that's it. So I put the racket in my hand, block, very subtle, move right there at the end but the ball is already gone so don't try and add this little extra English to your tennis ball as you're doing it that's not that's not what's happening the pros and your favorite club players or maybe your club pro they're doing this block and then they're doing that block and then that let me show you right here so here we go so I'm blocking and then I'm doing that I'm blocking and then I'm doing that all right, so there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I'm actually gonna leave you with a little commercial for building a better forehand. I know completely off topic, but you do play tennis, so I figured, hey, you might want a better forehand so you can get to the net and work on your non-twitch volley. So it's a five-part series on building a better forehand. I call it the Modern Tennis Makeover. Enjoy. Hey, stop there. This is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching, and today, today I want to give you a modern tennis makeover on the forehand. I've got a five-part free train series that is going to cure most of the problems I see from recreational players over the age of 40. Most recreational players lack the desired spin parent control they want because of inferior outdated stroke technique. Funky grips, poor setup, and incorrect swing paths are killing your forehand. Sign up for my free five-part series, Modern Tennis Makeover, and start building a better forehand instantly by watching my first video on core power, which I promise is going to be an eye-opening experience. In video two, watch one of the biggest changes that's happened on the professional tour in the last seven years, used by your favorite pros, Djokovic, Federer, Murray, Nadal, and it's used to dramatically shorten the swing cycle, yet increase racket at speed and power on the ball. In video three, I'm gonna show you how to absolutely murder your approach shot. In video four, I'm gonna show you why not only learning a swing volley is a costly mistake, but I'm also gonna show you how and when to use it. 
Finally, in video five, I'm gonna show you a disguised toss and lob that's going to have your opponents walking on eggshells every time they approach the net against you. I promise fun, enjoyment, and improvement for your money back. Guys, it's absolutely free. You have nothing to lose and a modern forehand to gain. So click here to start training instantly and watch the first video on core power right now. We'll see you inside the free training series.